Tea time with Trav. When you're doing stuff, always remember that you are not the only person that you're living for. You have to keep in mind how the people that are close to you will be affected by it. What's going on, y'all? It's AO Trav and I'm back, 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 beat it back. I'm back, 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 back again, y'all. It is Taco Tuesday, so y'all already know. I don't know how to pronounce the name of these tacos. Bereave something tacos. I have those. They are seafood tacos. And then I have a shredded beef quesadilla. And then this is the dipping sauce for the quesadillas. But there's also ramen in there, y'all. Spicy ramen. So, that's it. Great, we're going to start eating. Father God, I come here today to ask you watch over this food. I have to turn on the light one second. Father God, I come here today to ask you watch over this food. Please let it be a nourishment to my body. Please let me not digest this food properly. In your name, I pray. Amen, amen, one more time. Amen. I'm going to roll these sleeves up right here. Because I'm about to get popping. Oh my god. Oh yes. Mm. Mm. This is good. Y'all, this, it, uh, uh, why would it fall like this? <laughs> this is good. Mm. Come on now. No one come out. So this has, oh, maybe I could use my chopsticks. Y'all see that? Let's do it. Let me try. I'm just chopsticks, but y'all know. Everyone's good, though. It's not really that spicy. But it is hot though in temperature. How was y'all day going today? Mine is going good. It's going pretty good. I'm just getting up. And the first thing I did was. Well, I played around with <coughs> Ivy Park. And then. Got myself together to film.
Bardzo mi pachną, też nie Tea time with Trav. When you're doing stuff, I want you to re always, always remember that you are not the only person that you're living for. Let me explain what I'm trying to say. Sometimes when you make certain decisions, you have to keep in mind how the people that are close to you will be affected by it. And I think a lot of people don't do that. I think most times we, we think of self, which is not wrong. You should always think of yourself first. But remember that yourself is associated with other people. I was reading an article. Um, there's a rapper in Alabama named Honeycomb Brazy or something like that. His grandparents were found in their house. The whole house was just burst into flames. And they found his grandparents dead. Now, initially, they thought, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> that it was just a fire. Um, but then he actually posted himself. Apparently, he's he's in the street life. So people came looking for him, but ultimately got people that were close to him. Because when you're in that street life, y'all, if they can't get to you, they're going to get to the people closest to you. Or they'll purposely go for your loved ones. Because they feel like that'll hurt you more. So, um, it was initially they were saying that these people set his grandparents' house on fire. Now, he went on Instagram to say that They didn't set the house on fire. His grandparents were both on oxygen tanks due to COVID-19. So when people came by and they were shooting his house up, well, his grandparents' house up, they ended up shooting the oxygen tank, which caused fires to erupt like it was an explosion. And I said, oh my God. Oh my God. Mm. That's some stuff you hear about in the movie. You gotta be careful with stuff like that, y'all. When you're in compromising positions always remember that your family is in that position with you to an extent oh yeah these like the toes are just getting up and i fell asleep with um without turning the heat on so i woke up stuffy this morning but anyway um what was i saying yes when you're in stuff like that, even even this, being a YouTuber, I had to understand that, you know, my family may get, you know, brought into this lifestyle, I guess you want to call it, as well. So, 
when it comes to stuff like that, y'all, just be careful. Give me y'all better look. Mm. Never go back. But I know me personally, there's nobody that I could live with myself knowing that I was the reason why somebody else got taken out. Like, my poor decisions and my bad actions led to that. I would feel devastated. And I, I try not to question God, but I would honestly be like, why? Why did you not? Why not me? You know what I'm saying? That, honestly, that would be my initial thought. They were doing so good, not that good. Hold on. But y'all, I would honestly, I would honestly not be okay. <laughs> like, and it's so sad that innocent people always get got when it comes to stuff like that. Oh, wait. So it's crazy that I read about this story today because last night I was watching Star on Fox. I love that show. I cannot believe they canceled it. Like, I'm ticked off. Um, especially because of the way they ended it. Like, what? We deserve to know what happened after that. But anyway, um, there was a guy on there. His name is Hi Hiel. I think I pronounced it right. Anyway, he, um, big into drug and drugs and selling people and stuff like that. So he ended up making some people lose out on some money and getting rid of their product. So these people are after him. Now the girl he was sleeping with was at his house. He wasn't there. His godson or nephew, whoever it was, came over and ended up sleeping with the girl that was sleeping with his uncle. That's another story. And a hitman came into the house and took them both out because he thought that that was Hail. They came there looking for Hail. But I guess to them, it's. Mm -hmm. I guess everything and everybody is a target. I don't know. I, I've never been a hitman. Don't want to be one. Don't think I know one. Not to my knowledge. So I'll probably never find out. But I think they're they're designed to get the job done by any means necessary. So those two people were under a blanket doing what they were doing. So you really couldn't see their face. So he did pow, pow, pow. And then Hayo ended up leaving. Mmm. That's not so bad. So, when he found their bodies, he ended up faking his own death, y'all. Because he knew that these people did that because they was the ones that was coming after him. So he wanted them to believe that he was dead, right? So he had one of his friends, you know, shoot him. And then it was like they got rid of the body. But I don't know how they did that part. I don't child know. <laughs> but, you know. So, To 
for me, I feel like do what you're going to do. Whatever it is. If it's whatever. But. Before people agree to do stuff. Look at all aspects of your decision. Think about the pros, the cons, the in-betweens. What if this person find out, that person find out, how is this going to affect, etc. Like, you have to think about stuff like that, yo. The world don't revolve around one person at all. At all. <clears throat> Excuse me. As much as I would like to think that the world revolves around me, it doesn't. Y'all know I have a love-hate relationship with moms. Mm. Got beef on there. That's what I'm talking about. Lime would be so bitter. I'm gonna fold this jar. Is that what they say? I think they say that in Philly. Say this this jar. Mm. Bruh. I mean, you also got my napkins, my real napkins. <laughs> now I gotta use these. I think in most cases it's selfish. It's only thinking of yourself when you're making a decision. Of course, that decision will technically affect you the most, but y'all have to think about that. Like these people that be on social media with no clothes on and stuff like that. It's like, if you were to get older and have children and grandchildren, and these kids be like, hey, can you show us what y'all used to do back in your day? What you gonna do? Pull up something from OnlyFans? And then uh, you, you gotta worry about if you got a child, excuse me, because the internet is ruthless, right? Let's say I have an OnlyFans and I'm doing adult behavior on OnlyFans and my child, one could possibly come across that because nothing is sacred on the internet. Nothing. Somebody has access to it. So my child could either come across that. One of their friends could come across that. And now they're spreading it around school. Now my child is getting teased because of a decision that I made. Although, yes, it is putting food on our table, it, that wasn't the only way to go about it. You know what I'm saying? So, yes, desperate times call for des desperate measures. I get that. However, remember that you will not be in a state of desperation your entire life. So when you do get out of that state of desperation, you now have to. Oh, bless me. You now have to deal with the consequences of the decision that you made spur the moment. Yo, my eyes keep watering. It does this when I first woke up. But I'm over the heat. I'm making sure my heat stay on. Whoa. See, and this is what I don't like because it's bipolar weather here in Atlanta. I'm sorry I got off track, y'all. But it was just 30, 40 degrees. Now we in the high 60s the very next day. Like, Y'all want people to catch pneumonia. I'm convinced, Mother Nature. Mm. But anyway. I feel like, once again, like I said before, decisions should be about self. Unless great harm or danger can come from that decision upon someone else. If you know some drugs and all that will affect your lifestyle, the people that you bring in and out of your life 
if they can be harmed because of what you're doing on that corner, don't do it. Don't do it. Because it, it's hard for you. Once you're associated with something, it's hard for you to break away. So when you become a drug dealer or a pimp or whatever the case may be, you will always be known as that. Even if you don't do it anymore, you'll still be known to some people as this person that used to do X, Y, Z. I'm in a fraternity. I don't have to put my fraternity. I don't have to wear paraphernalia. I don't have to have it in my bio here and there. Nothing like that. However, whatever I do, I'm going to be attached to that. They're going to come in. Oh, you're the Sigma that eat on YouTube. That's another title. YouTuber. I'm wherever I, I could be in a movie. They'll be like, starring YouTuber A.O. Trap. Like, whatever you associate with yourself, you get that stamped on you. Once something's stamped, it's kind of hard to get removed. And even if you do get it removed, some people will not let it go. So you are stuck and you're tied to that forever and ever and ever. And it's just that. But I'm about to tell y'all because I'm a little fool. Figgy, 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 if you haven't already, check out the website. It's in the description box below. www.aotravel.com. They can get your ASOS, AOMARS, AO drip shirts, cool nice hoodies, all that. You already know. If you're not subscribed to the channel, it's right there. Boom. Hit the bell right there. Boom. So you can be done finding next time without a video. But if you want to stay connected with AO Travel, jump back into the description box. Go down to the bottom. Boom. Y'all, this bang is wearing me out. I keep thinking something on my forehead, but it's my bang. Um, let me see. Oh, jump back in the description box. I don't know if I said this part already. Boom. I thought I did. Scroll down to the bottom. You'll see me social media. Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram. Y'all already know. Add me. Follow me. Leave me a comment on Instagram. Leave me a DM on Instagram. Leave me a comment on here. Do whatever. I'm saying it slow because y'all be talking about trying. I can't hear what you're saying. Let me know what you like, what you don't like, what you want to see, what you don't want to see, what you want me to say, what you don't want me to say, what you want me to eat, what you don't want me to eat. All that good jazz. Let me know some. Other than that, it's been real. Age of that peace. Oh wait, peace. <laughs>